In today's video, we're gonna be searching for the weirdest, strangest looking fish that we can possibly find off the internet, and we're gonna be ordering him for our angler fish aquarium. Now, if I could pick any weird looking, crazy, strange fish in the entire world, you guys know what it would be. It would be this guy right here, the hairy frog fish. I've searched everywhere for him. You can't get these guys anywhere. I think I don't think they're available. I think they're just the wild, weirdest fish ever not ever for sale but you guys know if i could get one of these guys i would do it in a heartbeat look at how wild this fish is he's literally an angler fish with hair with literally just craziest amount of hair we've seen we've watched this video before because it's so cool but you guys know this would be my number one choice but you can't find these guys anywhere i mean look at that thing that thing is crazy 10 out of 10 would get can't find them. And you guys do know we just got a really weird fish for the outdoor saltwater mini pond, which is this guy right here. This is the walking bat fish. So we're still, we're, we're, we're moving up the ladder in terms of getting the weirdest stuff. You guys love seeing the weirdest stuff. I like buying the weirdest stuff. This guy is super weird. He's doing great in the pond, and uh, but he's a weirdo. He's a weirdo. So this guy is confirmed. We got him. So we're not going to be getting him today. The walking bat fish, great fish. He's awesome. Very strange. This is video from the wild. So he, this thing is pretty big look how weird that fish is we got one of those guys that's for sure what the heck is that thing in his nose i didn't even notice that i already got the walking bat fish check this is another option we could get this is a psychedelic frog fish you guys know the anglerfish aquarium the frogfish aquarium they're really called frogfish they it is doing fantastic we got our red angler in there red hulk who's a beast he's absolutely beast but this guy's really cool because this guy's called the psychedelic because he's got all those cool lines on him would definitely want to get one of these guys as well but can't find him anywhere either the only ones you could the only anglerfish frogfish you can find i mean look how cool look at the eye on that thing that is a true psychedelic frogfish right there the problem with the frogfish is you can only find the ones that aren't super rare like this you can only find you know the normal yellow ones red ones etc this guy would be a 10 out of 10 get. Can't find them. We've also got these guys right here. These are toadfish. Toadfish are super weird. We've had them in the past before, but I think I can do weirder. We've had them in a, a 125 aquarium before, a big orange one. He was a beast. He ate everything. Really a true psycho. Definitely a weird looking fish, but I think we could do better. Now this guy right here is a tasseled scorpion fish. Scorpion fish, I'm pretty sure are uh, venomous, I think. So look at the weird, look how weird this fish is. Look at how weird the fish is. I've seen scorpion fish before, haven't seen them in a while, but I'm not sure we've ever gotten one specifically as scorpion fish. We may have in the past, but this would go really well in the aquarium for sure, a scorpion fish. He would look perfect in that tank because we already got the frog fish theme going. We need some more weirder stuff like the scorpion fish is just like hairy and weird. Would be a good buy. Now, although those fish would look really cool in here, I found something way weirder, way cooler, and way more exciting than all the fish we just saw on the internet. I officially have placed the order for this fish and he's gonna be going in this tank with our angler fish. He's gonna be so cool in here. These two guys are gonna be buddies. So let's wait for him to arrive. He is so sick. Let's wait for him to arrive, unbox him, and we'll put him in his tank. All right, we've got our fish and this is what we're gonna be putting him in. He has arrived. That is where we're gonna put the fish in. You guys know, he's gonna be going with the angler. So this fish is like really, really crazy. He's not an angler fish, but he's kind of similar to like a frogfish or whatever. He's a savage. But this is the Harambe Aquarium. You guys know it's got the gorilla rock structure in here. Shout out to Harambe. This is the Harambe Aquarium and guess what only goes in here? Savages, you need to be a savage. So we're gonna see if this guy's really a savage or is he gonna take some time to warm up? So he's gonna go in here and you know what we have to do? We have to give him one glass of minnow or something to feed him to see if he wants to eat right away. So let's unbox this guy. He's freaking cool. Actually, before we unbox him, we're gonna just catch the glass minnows first just to get that out of the way. It'd be much easier just to catch the minnows now. Pond is doing great, fantastic. We got our new inverts in here and the fish, look at the schooling fish. They're all chilling by the rocks. So as you guys know, we're starting slow, but we're building the big arrow crab. He found his spot underneath that uh, rock over there. You can see his little legs sticking out. So all is well right now, but if we can catch a nice little glass minnow here, that would be ideal because then we're gonna see if this guy's truly a savage. Okay, we don't need, we don't need too many, but I, of course I like like having a lot of them ready, but I, I just want to get them a nice size. And guess what? Springtime here, March. I know people are still like, if you're up north, it's still probably freezing. It's warming up nice here in Florida and the fish are coming back. It, it feels really good. So the glass minnows have arrived. They have spawned. Every night I have my snook lights running every single night. Every night I see thousands of glass minnows on my night. I, I've been seeing a lot of pilchards on my light recently and big snook on my light. So fish are here, but I only need a couple of, I only need like one. So we're not going to get greedy here and we're going to do our vest. Where are they? I don't have my glasses on. Where'd they 
go. I just sold him. I just sold him over here. All right, we're just gonna throw it and see if we get anything. Am I tripping? Let me check over here. I see a nice Samford's down there. That could be a good meal. He's pretty big. All right, I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to try over there because there's a Samford's there anyway, so we could get him. I just saw a whole school. I don't know where they went. You ready? Let's see if I can do this. What the heck was that? What was that? Something just got spooked over there. Did I get any? Two. Perfect. 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 <laughs> I literally saw a whole like thousand school of them two seconds ago. I don't know where they went. They're probably underneath the dock. They like to hang out under there. Nice sand perch right there. Nice sand perch right there. Could definitely catch that guy. Yeah, I think he's too big. Once the anglers get a little bit bigger, we can feed them bigger stuff. But something got spooked right next to that jet ski dock. I don't know if you guys could see that in the video, but there's definitely a bigger fish over there telling you we got to do a chummy here we got to do a 24-hour fish trap at the dock let me know if you guys want to see that again we haven't done one in forever where i set all the traps along the dock for 24 hours let me know by dropping a like on this video but i think these will do just a couple glass minnows perfect let's go feed our boy all right we got our glass minnows we have our viewing container now it's time to unveil the fish now i already looked at him he actually is kind of big so we may need to do some moving around the the crazy fish might actually go in here i'm not sure yet but i think he should be fine for now in here we're gonna just see how how he looks in there but here is the water's yellow so we're gonna put him in this it'll look a lot better but this fish right here is crazy this is called a rhino fish i don't know if you guys can see but that is pretty it's pretty much a frog fish but they call him a rhino fish because he's got those horns on top all right there. Rhino fish, he acts just like an angler. His mouth can open really big. He sucks down prey, absolute beast. The only thing I don't know is if I can actually hold these guys. I'm not gonna try it. It's gonna be probably uh, a little dangerous because if he is venomous, that would hurt really bad if I got stung by him. But look at that thing. How creepy is that thing? Is that not one of the weirdest fish you've ever seen? This right here is easily one of the weirdest fish I've ever seen anywhere. So. That is crazy. He's almost like, he's the next best thing than uh, that anglerfish with all that hair on it. Those are impossible to find. I think those are literally only in the wild. The ones with the big hair that we saw, we saw in the beginning of the video. These guys is like the next best thing. So he looks weird in the bag. He's double bagged. So uh, he probably looks bigger than he is. We're gonna see just how big he is. Even a fish this size would be fine in this tank because I don't think they get much bigger and uh, he, he probably should be fine in here, but we're gonna see just in case. I'm gonna get him in the bucket first then I'm gonna dump him in here because you guys gotta see him without this yellow water. Okay, he's going in the bucket first with with the glass minnows already okay see he's he look, still looks a lot smaller now but let's just quickly get him okay let's net him up we're gonna get him right into his container that is the weirdest fish ever look at this guy look at that guy he's freaking crazy looking is that not the creepiest fish you guys have ever seen look at that thing that thing literally looks like a piece of seaweed so Tiny Tim, kind of similar to him. He's got those, you know, characteristics of a fish that looks like he likes to hang out in the in the seaweed, drift along with the current. This guy's crazy. Rhino fish, he looks like a dragon. Super weird fish, one of the weirdest fish I've ever gotten. And we're gonna see if he wants to eat right now with these glass minnows, but he is really cool. Guys, I just noticed that when you look in this guy's eye, it's like, Brooke just said, it's like a mirror. What is up with that? Does, like. That is the weirdest eye I've ever seen. And he's looking directly at us. So he clearly knows. Now he's looking at my finger. This looks like a fish that, that is venomous and can hurt you. So we're gonna be careful, but this guy is literally one of the weirdest fish I've ever gotten. Strangest fish I've ever gotten. His mouth is like, he literally has like two things that look like seaweeds. Weird ass fish. So we're gonna see, he, it looked like he wanted to eat them when he was in the bucket. So let's put our glass minnows in and see if he wants to eat them. Got two glass minnows in here. Come on, you gotta go into the Savage Aquarium. So you better act like a savage. Oh my God. Yep, he's a savage. Yep, he's a savage. Look at him crawling along the bottom like an anglerfish. Here we go. We need names for this guy in the comments right now. Everyone drop a name in the comments for our new rhino fish. He's a savage. Here he goes. This guy is a beast. He needs a, he needs a glorious name, an absolutely glorious name. So he's uh, kind of similar to the angler as in he'll wait a little bit, walk forward slowly and uh, surprise his prey. So let's see if he wants to eat. This is uh, this is exciting. The fish got to get close to him. I wonder if the fish can see him and, and you know, are like, I should probably stay away from that thing. Or they like have no idea he's even there. Here he goes, here he goes. This is. He's gonna do great because I like to do live feedings and it's probably his food of choice is a nice live minnow. So he's gotta commit. Once he commits, it's over. Oh, that was close. That was close. I could try to hand feed him too. If uh, we don't wanna wait too long, I could try to hand feed him. But right now he, he is obviously interested. Turning his head when the fish swims by, he's obviously interested in these minnows. He wants to eat them. He will if he has the right opportunity. Look at his mouth. The way his mouth is forked like that, that is, so freaking weird. 
Oh, he had a choice. He had a chance right there. He, it needs to be perfect strike distance for him. You can see his fins are out like this. He's like spread out so he can have that lunge factor. His eyes look like an illusion, literally an illusion. It's freaking the weirdest fish ever. Come on, get him. I'm, I'm lowering the water level right now because the glass minnows are just out of reach for him. So I'm just gonna lower the water just a tad. That's it, that's, that's what we wanna lower. Now he has an opportunity to just pounce when those minnows go right by his face. So now we be patient. Oh my God, dude, that one swam right by him. All right, I got a, uh, a bigger glass minnow, but he's dead. He was alive, but now he's, uh, he's dead. I'm gonna see if I can feed him like, like this. See if I can hand feed him. I don't know if he's gonna want it, because he's being kind of uh, weird. I think he knows it's dead. He doesn't want it. That's crazy, he, he's, he's being finicky. I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments if you think he's savage enough for the savage tank. I mean, he's, uh, he's definitely, he wants to eat, but he's not committing. Probably because we haven't even put him in the tank yet and he's not used to it, so. <laughs> Who knows? All I know is that our anglerfish ate immediately. This guy maybe just takes a little bit more time to eat. So let's go ahead and get this guy in his tank. Now let's get these two little glass minnows we caught in, uh, in this tank here, because this is where we're gonna put him. We'll put him in for Red Hulk. Red Hulk's a beast. He's gonna wanna eat him, so. Just have them in there. And he, uh, he eats at his leisure, so. Two more glass minnows added. And now let's get this guy who has no name in the tank, but I don't know his savage level. He seemed like he was ready to be a savage, but he just didn't quite commit. So his mouth is much skinnier and don't worry about Red Hulk, He's a, he'll be fine. So let's get our guy in the tank, see how he looks. Look at that freaking fish. Take Zoom in on that thing. That is the weirdest fish in the entire ocean. Look at his eyes. It's like a mirror. What a strange beast of a fish. Look at that. So cool. So sick, guys. Let's go. We've got a new addition to this tank here. Now, you don't need to worry about the anglerfish. They're gonna be fine together. This guy definitely can't eat them. And the one thing is that Tiny Tim is in here, but he's definitely not staying in here. We're gonna get him his own aquarium. Jack Gentile's calling me, guys. Fish God Jack's calling me. Fish God Jack's always calling me when I'm filming. So, I'll call him back. Look at our boy here. Look at our boy. He's gonna have to put in some work. He's gonna have to prove, prove to me that he can stay in the Savage Tank. I know you guys were probably really excited to see him eat. You're probably, you're just gonna have to wait till the next video when I go catch him a bunch of stuff and then we can see him eat. But look at that. If you really zoom in, he's got like some pink speckles and his eye, if you really pay attention to his eye, is so trippy. It literally looks like a mirror. It's insane. It's like one of those optical illusions that keeps spinning. That's what his eye looks like. What a strange, strange fish. But he's in the tank. He's an absolute savage. Drop your names down in the comments for him and you guys are gonna have to come back next time to see him eat. I'm excited to see him eat. We're probably gonna have to load this tank with a lot of minnows or sergeant majors. So we're just gonna have to see where he goes. We got Tiny Tim, we got Red Hulk. I forget if I named him Red Hulk. And we got Blank. But you gotta earn your stripes, brother. You gotta earn your stripes. You don't get handed them. You don't just get handed the Medal of Honor, okay? You gotta earn it. So once he uh, once he gets a name and he starts eating, then we'll we'll decide if he's savage enough to stay in the Gorilla Harambe Aquarium. So we shall see. He's a savage. That's a fact. He's the king of the castle, as you can see, he's on top of the throne. Absolute beast. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I love getting fish like this. Weird, creepy, strange, just oddball fish. That is the stuff I love getting. This is what excites me right here. But hopefully we'll see him eat very soon. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.